we have a brand new Road to the Final 81 rated Mbabu in the objectives. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Before we get into this, where are, where are icon swaps? Where is the next set of icon swaps? I don't know where they are. Let me know down below what you think EA are doing and why we don't have icon swaps yet. It's a little bit confusing, uh, weird. I'm not entirely sure. It's a little bit weird for EA not to release them. Um, and if you could leave a like on this video, that'd be great. If we could smash a thousand likes on this video, I'd be very much appreciative. Let's get into it. Now, this will be the first time I've ever made one of these videos where I haven't completed the card. Usually, I spend it all night getting the card. However, I've just moved house, if you guys didn't know. And the only internet I have in this house is a 4G wireless router from EE. We get three download and three upload, I think. And trying to play FIFA, I tried playing one game a weekend league. I had to speed up like the entire game. I physically cannot get this card for you guys tonight to get the video up. I do apologize. If I had better internet, I would grind all night to get the card. Unfortunately, we don't yet, but soon we'll have. Uh, so hopefully the next videos will have uh, better internet and get the card. So I do apologize. I don't actually have the card for this video, uh, but I'll talk you through basically what I would have done if I was going for the card, uh, how to make these sort of quicker, uh, how to sort of, um, I don't know, just, just merge things into one to try and make it a lot quicker. Um, and this one's relatively easy if you ask me. I think this is pretty uh, pretty quick to do. I think you could do this easily in a day um, without a shadow of a doubt. It's a lot of games to do, but I think you could do it all pretty easily. So, uh, so let's do it. So uh, Road to the Final Begins can easily be merged into Bundesliga All-Star. I would just make uh, a starting 11 of your best Bundesliga players. Uh, you can go out and buy plays. Obviously, this is not a first owner objective, so it's pretty easy to do. You can just go out and buy a full Bundesliga starting 11. And obviously, the first one, you don't actually, it doesn't really matter uh, who you score the goals with. You do get a road to the final Mbappé on loan for 10 games, even if uh, you score them with a Ronaldo, a Messi, a bronze card. It doesn't matter. Um, it's just to score 10 goals really easy. You'll do this as you do the challenge, no matter what. Um, but you have to win six rival matches using 11 Bundesliga players in your starting squad, which means you're allowed three subs of three any three players. They don't have to be Bundesliga players. Uh, your subs can be fine. They could be Ronaldo, Messi, Mbappe, uh, Mbappe, Mbappe uh, if you want to, or Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, or something like that, if you've got them, obviously. Um, so the subs are really easy. Sub, sub on your strongest players. Use your strongest formation with this. Um, if I was to use a full Bundesliga 11, I'd show you what it looked like in terms of players in my club. I just built a squad with players in my club. This is something I'd probably go or a similar lines. Uh, I, you know, in my club, I've got a bunch of Bundesliga players. I've got uh, Brandt, Werner, Bailey, if I wanted to bring on Bailey, Talisa. I've got a bunch of decent Bundesliga players because um, Bundesliga was like sort of my go-to uh, squad battle side for a while. So I sort of just went with Bundesliga players. Um, and I'm blessed to have a lot of these players untradeable, like Goretzker and, and, and Witzel and, and, and Royce as well. Royce is a main one. Um, so I, I, you know, I don't see the need in going out and buying a Lucas Hernandez and a Jerome Boateng when you can have maybe Upper Mencano and Konate. They're really OP. Uh, I would save coins if I were you. I don't think you need to go out and spend ridiculous coins on this. Um, it's win six games of rivals with this starting 11. So obviously this would be my starting 11. And then in terms of subs, you can have maybe obviously this is based on my club but i would probably bring on garincha van dyke and maybe like player of the month of bamiang uh, if i wanted to bring on a couple of subs uh, to help me sort of do it um i'd find it way easy to bring on these guys um and six games it sounds like a lot of games when you first start but you'll find that uh people will go through them quickly if you if you come up against people with full bundesliga squads you might find them rage quit at two or three nil down if they're trying to get through it quickly um so just sort of play with your strongest team and your strongest formation um and you'll find that you'll score goals quite easily uh, and i know there's another one with uh, assisting with defenders and i do, do want to quickly check if that's bundesliga defenders or not um let me just quickly double check so assist assist, assist six goals using uh, defenders and rivals and assist using switzerland players in rival wins so you could probably match uh sorry match the flying swiss with bundesliga all-stars um as you see in my team i've got zakaria um and, and obviously you can get assists with zakaria in in all three of the the three wins or all six of the games and you'll find that you'll do that pretty quickly um in terms of uh, swiss bundesliga players i don't know if there's a whole lot of amazing ones i know obviously zimbabu there's a kanji there's zakaria let me just double check if there is uh, any decent forwards that you could use so um not really there uh Mehmedi's not great either you could if you really wanted to get that one done 
You could have Zuba, Mbolo, maybe Medi. He doesn't look very good, but if you really want to try and get it done, Stefan maybe as well. Um, Fernandez, if you're really trying. Um, and you can get that one knocked out in three games and use your strongest Bundesliga side. But what I'd recommend is just whacking on Zakaria into your team. Um, and just trying to force the ball to Zakaria to try and make an assist. If you really need to, you can do that. If you're 2-0 up, you can swap Royce and Zakaria, put Royce at Cam. Try and force the ball through Zakaria just to get that assist. Um, I usually don't recommend forcing the ball through people, but it's only one assist per win. I think that you'll probably find it quite easy whilst you're getting the six wins anyway to just get an assist with Zakaria in one of the wins, especially if you're winning quite comfortably. Um, at least that's how I'd usually find it, and that's how I'd do it, and try and just incorporate them into one. Now, uh, it says also assist using defenders in rivals uh, I would opt to use the more attacking defenders Vendel's got four star skill moves 73 passing 78 dribbling has got good going forward stats obviously you will get a loan um, 10 game loan of that in Babu card as well um, so you will have this card as a 10 game loan now this card's got decent passing decent dribbling will be decent going forward that will count towards Swiss uh, assists and defensive assists in the games and you don't have to win the games that you get defender assists in so realistically if you wanted to you could just go a full team of centre backs that are Bundesliga and maybe one one striker like Lewandowski up front or something um, and you can just do it in, in six different games or sorry you can just assist six different goals um, in rival games and get it done in literally one game if you're lucky uh, what I would do personally is try and find other people that are doing the same thing uh, maybe measure them mid game uh, if you press start and press uh, I think it's square or X on a play uh, sorry square on a PlayStation X on an Xbox uh, you'll find you can find their game tag you might be able to measure them saying hey bro uh, will you help me out I help you out we both complete it and then just play a normal game um, that's sort of what I would do I found a lot of people actually are quite uh, nice and will help you complete it if they're also trying to complete the same thing. So um, that's what I'd look out for. Uh, and last but not least is the Flying Swiss. Um, but like I said, I don't think that's going to be too difficult. Now, um, scoring a goal using Wolfsburg players and six squad battle wins on min world-class difficulty. I think that's what the Mbabu card is probably for. There isn't a whole lot of amazing uh, Wolfsburg players in the game. Like There's a couple decent ones, don't get me wrong. Um, but that squad battle wins. So you realistically could start with a Wolfsburg player and then sub him straight off. Now, squad battles is, like in my opinion, world class is actually quite difficult. Um, you want to look for... Uh, the the lower tier teams you want to look for for example the full bronze teams with 30 40 chemistry um, and then you can maybe have Jinsek in your starting squad you can maybe have Mali you can maybe have uh, Mbabu up top or Bricalo Stefan any of these guys you can actually start um Sub them on straight away. Uh, sorry, sub them off straight away as soon as they scored. Uh, I know there's a lot of YouTubers that make how to beat squad battle videos. So I'd watch one of those because uh, it really is a numbers game with squad battles. Uh, it's more tactical breakup play than anything else. I feel like the game codes in, in binary, which is O's and 1's. This is going way too technical for a YouTube video. But uh, the game sort of codes in binary, I feel like. Um, and if you can just sort of put the 1's and the O's together you will find that squad battles are pretty easy to break down um it's as simple sometimes as going down the wing doing a one two and then the whole back line just gets completely ripped apart um and i find it quite easy with that so uh that's what i would do personally for for that one and i think you'll honestly find it you'll get this done in like five six hours max um the the minimum amount of games that you can play for this uh, you can do Road to the Final Begins in, in one game, same with the Flying Swish. You could probably, uh, sorry, not the Flying Swish, the Backline Machine. You could probably do both of those in the same game if you were really lucky. Um, so let's say that's one game, uh, seven games, uh, add another three, 13 games, and then you can mix that in. So the minimum amount of games you could play here is 13 games. Uh, and that is the minimum amount of games it could take you. 13 games at 20 minutes a piece is what, like 200 minutes? um 260 minutes in terms of hours that's not that's not actually that long is it it's about four and a half hours or 4.3 hours should i say so not, so four hours and 20 minutes roughly um if you were to get really looking to do it all in in one game i would predict this would take you probably six seven hours um you know don't worry about your record in my opinion with especially with the rival ones and things like that um if you start getting slapped 3-0 by someone that's clearly better than you it's because they've relegated themselves to your division uh, i would just leave the game and try again to be honest because a lot of people 
do relegate themselves from Div 1, 2, and 3 down to Div 5, 6, and 7, I would just leave if I were you. There's no point. There's no point staying in the game with them sort of people. So that is sort of why I do to get that in Babu card. Uh, hopefully you found this video useful. Again, I really do apologize that I didn't get this card. If I could have, I genuinely would have. I've done it for every single one. I am not a fan of the people that don't get the card and make like a really quick two-minute video that's sort of clickbait. I'm not, I, I hate that. I really don't like that. Like that has never been what the content I try and produce on the channel and it's not sort of the way I move forward with the channel. So I do apologize with that. I really wanted to make a video and talk to you guys through sort of how I do it. And if I could have the card, believe me, I would. And I can't wait to get internet in this place so that I can start making the videos the right way. So thank you all for your epic support. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are all enjoying your weekend. I hope you're enjoying the content. Leave a like down below and I'll see you lads later.